Five minutes, Mr. Kaiser. Five minutes. Well, what is it? Mr. Canode is waiting for you on the set. Canode. years ago I fought my way out of that cave became Iron Man realized I loved you I know I said no more surprises but I was really hoping to pull off one last one the world has changed none of us can go back is our best and sometimes the best that we can do is to start over I saw all these people die I keep telling everybody they should move on some do, but not us. Even if there's a small chance, we owe this. To everyone who's not in this room, to try. We will. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. this one. <laughs> oh! <laughs> hey. oh! I don't know why wow. I uh, why I enjoy that so much. It is. It is fun. It's the most exercise I've gotten all week. <sighs> Here we Oof. are. Another another happy happy show. Mm-hmm. All right. So we are in um, uh, how, sorry I, I always skip this part but I just want to know. How was your week? My week was good. We um, we did so. We almost bought a house. We uh, mm. went to some nice restaurants. Huge investment. Uh, got caught up on some some movies that I hadn't seen in a while. Okay. Yeah, so I did that good. too. Yeah, did that it was too. fun. Yep. What about you? How was your week? Pretty good. <laughs> okay. No. Pretty good. My microphone, Robbie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Sure. Introductions. Okay. All right. There we go. So we have uh, the big news that everybody's talking about right now is the Infinity War trailer, the conclusion of the Avengers Thanos War. Yes. Is it? Well, yeah. There I mean, you that, go. that battle, yeah. Endgame. Like lightning. It is, it is, Every time you say Thanos, <laughs> it is. It is the end. <laughs> Endgame. So here's here was my big thing is okay. sorry. Obviously. Uh, it was shown in the uh, clip we just saw. Yeah. Ant-Man was caught in the subatomic universe. Yes, we're all aware of that. The big, th the big thing is, how are they going to bring these characters back? That goes back to the Captain Marvel thing, because there was that time warp thing. Well, there's obviously, you know, the cliffhanger, I think it was the end credit sequence that they had in 
Uh, Infinity War was yeah. obviously that Nick Fury pulled out that old pager from the 80s right, and texted right, right. and then we saw the yep. Captain Marvel sign. So that was, so we were obviously going, okay, she's somehow tied into the answer of this. Nick Fury knows that she's, so, wow. and then the big reveal at the end of this trailer was Thor and Captain Marvel coming face to face. So obviously she's part of the story. Obviously she has a stake in this and, and a way of, and I think she'll be part of the answer. Um, the, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. The hype, well, so far, uh, the Avengers uh, stories, the hype has equaled uh, the actual content of the film. I've been very satisfied with been, it. I mean, they're really great stories. And, and, and it's one of the Again, big it's, challenges. It's a story. Yeah, one of the big challenges, I think, with anything of that scale is you get that many characters in there. I mean, like heavy power hitting characters. Not just... The characters, but the actors. I mean, you're putting Robert Downey Jr. next to... Lost in space, you, you know, for all intents and purposes. Yeah, and it is... Uh, so there's some big stakes, and it and it balances really well. Like, I remember reading about that in the first uh, Infinity War, the percentage of how these characters had screen time, but it all made sense, and it all so, worked. So do we already go in... Here's, here's the only issue I have with this. Do we already know what the resolution is going into the movie without... Actually seeing the movie, do we all know that they're going to come back, be reassembled, the time warp is going to do the thing? What now what is I, going to happen? I suspect that they're not going to let Black Panther die. They're not going to let Spider. They're not going to let him die. They're not going to. Because, well, you have to, you know, make more movies. Well, I think part of it is... But don't we already know what's going to happen? I don't think we do. And I, and I would say that I think that part of the... There's certain characters, yes. There is like Spider-Man, for instance. He's got another movie coming out. I mean, we saw that trailer a couple episodes ago. So obviously, he's not going anywhere, right? Now Stan so he's got to come back. Now Stan Lee's dead. You could do almost anything you want. He's gone. That's true. But I think the other part of it is that there is, there's so many characters, and they've talked about this, you know, if you look at the business side of it, that, you know, Chris Evans' contract has, has run out. Robert Downey Jr.'s, you know, their, their original picture deal. So I think that there, yeah. there is a, a real possibility that they will, some characters will go away and be gone. And then now we have new, new characters that are going to take the baton. And a lot of people are talking about like, oh, well, there's Captain Marvel now. So do we need Captain America? Is she going to be the new uh, leader of the Avengers? So I would say we don't know, but it, I will say... Yeah, it wouldn't be faithful to the original story, but okay. Yeah, but... I will say, in the original story, they have uh, the Captain America mantle was passed on to Bucky, who, you know, the Winter Soldier. So, like, he eventually becomes the Captain America in the comic books, and so does, I can't remember his real name, but Falcon. Uh, he eventually becomes Captain America I would America like to well. see, pers just from a personal uh, uh, point of view, I would like to see um, Daredevil made in that Marvel Cinematic yeah. Universe style yeah. with that creative team. I'd like to see that come to the big screen. Because they canceled Daredevil. Yeah. I would say... They shouldn't have. They shouldn't have. But they I would say... Have, but I didn't have the audience, but I think it could make a very powerful big screen movie. Not to take away from the Ben Affleck, but that was awful. Yeah. I think the one thing that they have been missing in the new Avengers movies was a, a kind of an un... What was a big part of the original, the original Avengers movie, that I don't feel like was fu fully wrapped up, and that was the uh, German pedestrian 307. Yeah, they could just come out with 307. Yeah. Mm, something to think about. I think we have a clip. Yes, I did. I found a clip. From the Avengers, Andrew was holding out on us. Yeah, Marvel's going to sue us. It doesn't matter. Sue away, Marvel. <laughs> Here's the clip. Well, folks, we got a very special treat for all of you out there that have been a fan of the show. I know I'm a big fan, so it's a big thrill to be able to interview the interviews. That was a combination of introduce and interview the star of Mixed Nuts, Captain Gene. Well, thank you very much, Andrew. It's uh, very glad to be here. I'm, I'm on leave. Yes, carry on. 
Very good. I'm on leave. The uh, pressures of a starship captain are very severe, and I can oftentimes imagine. we have to uh, take breaks. So uh, what kind of <coughs> training, if any, uh, makes you qualify to captain the Vend-1 spaceship uh, to supply vending materials? Well, of course, you do have to have certain uh, leadership capabilities and have a working knowledge of uh, snacks and uh, before and after meal uh, goodies, now, as it were. Prior to meeting you today, I thought you were an actor playing Captain Gene, but apparently you, oh. you, you are Captain Gene. I am, I am often mistaken for a performing artist. Mm -hmm. However, I uh, did go to uh, vending college, and I am a, gra a graduate of the uh, Space uh, Continuum Academy. Oh, wow, Class of nice. uh, 2074. <clears throat> Wow, so you're from the future. I am. Oh, I didn't mention that. <laughs> I had no, no I'm sorry. idea. Well, I'm not sure how that works. That's what I have a science officer for. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, science officer Carl. Very good looking guy. Is that, was that a requirement that you had to get the most attractive man hadn't possible noticed. to. Uh... Hadn't noticed, but his skills are unparalleled. Oh, wow. Very good. Uh, now, I do understand you have a clip of the newest episode of Mixed Nuts coming out. We, we, we'd love to watch we that. We do, as we uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, travel throughout the uh, stratosphere mm -hmm. and the outer galactic area. Uh, radio waves are bouncing throughout the atmosphere, and we basically capture them and watch your show. That's how we are familiar with your show, is we pulled it up from the... Okay, I didn't need a history lesson or yes. science lesson. I yes. just wanted to see a clip. Yes, I do. Most people just bring a flash drive with a clip. I will there. contact my second in command oh. to show the clip. Oh, very by. good. All right. Understood. Science Officer Carl. Carl, come in, Carl. Science Officer Carl. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh, is this normal? <coughs> You know, Carl, it's amazing how accurate some of those old science fiction movies were when predicting future technology. Yeah, I'll say. Really makes you think about our future. Is that readout on those life support systems you wanted? Oh, thank you, Carl. You know, Carl, I'm not too worried about the future. Half of my paycheck goes home into a savings account and the other half, I invest in a slow growth mutual fund. Slow and steady, that's what I always say. Mutual fund? The stock market? You know the stock market's just one big uh, Fonzie scheme, don't you? What? Yeah, yeah, it's like a, a pyramid scheme. You see, the, the new investors come in and they pay for the old investors that have already been there until the whole thing just collapses. I know what it's called. I know what it is, but it's not called a Fonzie scheme. It starts with a P. Ponzi scheme. Oh, Carl. No, it's called, it's a Ponzi scheme and it's not gonna collapse. It's been going on for 300 years. Then it's due, it's gonna collapse anytime. And you know what? That's why I invest in myself. See, I've been taking this correspondence course. And every month you learn a new marketable skill. Logic wouldn't happen to be one of those skills, would it? Oh, it's not marketable. Now, this particular course I've been studying privately in my own quarters this whole time. <laughs> Ventriloquism for dummy. You know, I knew you would make fun. You see, that's why I've been working on this privately. But this particular course, well, it, it requires an audience. And I, I know my part, but, well, you and me have never done this together. What do you mean, you and me? So, Gary, there is a lot of television out there. We've talked about it before. There's tons of streaming it's all TV. services. It's all TV. Of, yeah, and so many shows, so many... Th I know I have my show... Oops, sorry, sorry, sound guy. Uh, I think his name's Larry. I don't mm -hmm. know. 
Uh, there's so many shows. I have my shows that I enjoy watching. I have my shows that I enjoy watching. And and it is it's a lot. And especially when you know, and we all have those friends that go, "Hey, you got to check out this show." I know. How do you jump in? There's too many shows. How do you jump into a show? Well, I think um, we should make a list. Okay. Read down. Uh huh. Get a little feedback on it. Like this. That's the list right, <laughs> right. there. <laughs> Here we go. So this is our new segment. This called. This week in television. Hmm. On The Simpsons, Homer discovers a passion for coaching Bart in video game competitions. Lisa plans to bring Homer back to reality, creates chaos. Gary. Is that show still on? Andy. So Lisa's still the only smart one. Gary. And outsiders arrive. This is The Walking Dead, just in case I didn't preface that, an outsider's arrival forces Alexandria to rehash devastating old wounds. Eye-opening secrets from the past are revealed ending. Which one of those characters is dead? Gary. I don't watch it anymore. I only <laughs> watched the first two seasons. I'm bored. Too many dead people. Andrew. All right, NCIS on CBS. Ooh. Lots of initials. Yes. Vance is notified by the Pentagon that the nuclear submarine Gibbs and Bishop are aboard to conduct... Well, the submarine's not called Gibbs, it's submarine. <laughs> Gibbs and Bishop are aboard to conduct a murder investigation. Has gone radio silent. It might as well, be, might as well be called the USS Gibbs. How many times are they going to be on a nuclear submarine in this show? I mean, uh, aircraft carry, nuclear submarine, broken arrow, jet. There's only such. Our Air Force and Navy is a mess. It's in a shambles. That's all I got to say about that. <sighs> do, I, do I get one? Andrew. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> New title of the show NCIS Submarine. Gary. <laughs> okay. You're over here. All, All right. right. Dylan and Modern, fam Modern Family. Your little guy there. Modern Family. Yes. ABC show. Ooh. Dylan and Luke are really impressed with Bill's tales of heroism and survival as a firefighter, which make Phil feel emasculated. Andrew. I <laughs> love Phil. I do like Phil. <laughs> He's the best. They, Gary. Andrew, they should just have a show. Phil, and do away with Modern Family. You know that whole family could die off except for Phil and 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 maybe uh, the brother and sister character, and it wouldn't bother me one bit. Andrew, <laughs> <laughs> the Flash, Ooh. Team Flash finds out it's a whole team now out that suburban mom Vicky Bolin is in danger. And they race to save her. They discover she's a metahuman who is hiding her abilities from her family. Barry encourages Vicky to share her secret with her family. Gary. DC could never keep up with Marvel on board. Andrew. <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> Andrew. Oh, wow. Good so one. You like that? Good one. Yeah. Gary, your that turn. Works right in. Okay. <laughs> All right. Brooklyn Nine Nine, an NBC program, one of my yeah. favorites. Charles gets Jake involved in a case where a therapist reports one of his patients is missing. Holt learns that Rosa has a new girlfriend whom everyone else has met. Amy thinks she mistakenly received a package for Terry. Andrew. I'm confused. Is Brooklyn Nine Nine the address of the police department or their telephone? Number? It's the precinct. Brooklyn Gary. Nine Nine. Andrew, uh, I enjoy the show. It's pretty funny. It goes all over the place. And it doesn't take itself seriously. I hate shows that are pretentious and take themselves seriously. Don't worry. This one does at all. Everything's fair again. I like Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Andrew? Speaking of pretentious, Riverdale on CW. Ooh. As rehearsals for the New Year's musical Heathers gets underway, Cheryl channels her own... HBIC to deal with a recent fallout. Veronica learns some devastating news about her family. Jughead makes a surprising move against Gladys. Gary. I'm reading. Sorry. I didn't hear what you said. And this segment's been dedicated to Luke Perry. Wow. Well, I feel all caught up. I do. From, uh, I do too. Everything that's going on. Yep. Um, you know, one of our more popular segments with this new format 
I begrudgingly admit, has been the Gary's Thrift Shop. What is that all about? People love it. People love old stuff. Okay. And I certainly, I certainly enjoy this segment. No, Gary. Oh, Gary, right. please let okay, me know what shop. we got this Andrew, time. Andrew, did you know that I, I went to the thrift shop this week? I bet you did. I got more stuff. I think you're going to enjoy this a lot. I hope so. Okay, so I bring up the thrift shop bag here. Uh huh. All right. Yeah. No, that's good. No, nope, you're going to no, love that's it. Absolutely. Okay, so <laughs> I go to the thrift shop. Yeah. I Where'd you for, go this time? I went to MCC Thrift Store in Kidron. Oh, wow. And then I went to an auction. So I kind of broke the mold. Oh, okay. But the auction was right Auctions there. Auctions are cool, too. Auction was right there. And um, it was locally here in uh, Maslin. You okay. Know, for you Maslin yeah. folks. And here's what I got at that auction. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to kind of bounce back and forth. So these are the all auction, auction finds or, or some from the Kidron? Uh, MCC and auction. Okay. Okay. And a couple of them tie in. Anyhow, moving right along. Yeah. Gosh, we're already three seconds. <laughs> oh, boy. So at the auction, I got this little, this is uh, probably a 1960s little yeah. robot, right? Robbie the robot. It is. I had to take it apart and grease the mechanism because it was frozen, rusted shut, and then I cleaned it up. My grandson's afraid of this. Oh, is he? He's afraid of it, but I figured it'd be perfect for your, yeah. for your desk. So oh, that's a cool. I'm going to run it. Hang on. <laughs> oh, that is okay. so fun. <laughs> How cool is that? I love the spinning. That's a detail that they would not do th in this time. Like, they wouldn't do that today. No, no, absolutely not. So I got that. Probably I paid $12 for the whole uh, auction Come find. Yeah. And I got a wheelbarrow. I got train sets. Yeah. I got all kinds of stuff. Just a question. This was neat. Was anybody bidding against you on that? No. Wow. No, no. But but this came in a box of stuff. Oh, that's cool. And 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 that's I so love those fun. lots when you then you're digging through it and you don't know what but you're doing. That gonna is find. so cool. I loved it. So also at the auction, also at the auction. Yeah. Okay. I got this. Okay. This is from 1954, if you can see it right there. Or no, 1956. Okay. Roy Rogers and Dale Evans. Oh my god. Paper doll set. Oh wow. And the paper doll set is unused. Yeah. And there was a little flaw in here. I think the tears on the end. No, it's a yeah, the tears are, take a look at that. Oh, that is and cool. then I went to MCC, right? Yeah. And for a dollar, for a dollar, you know how I like these books, you know, we got them all over the place. For a dollar, I got the Whitman Classic 1954 Roy Rogers book. Okay. And now I have like a, set. A, like a combination Roy. right there. Roy Rogers was huge. And he was huge. He was the singing cowboy, and it was the biggest thing on TV. I mean, number one show on TV was and, and in the movies was Roy Rogers. So I'm going to post this stuff. I'm going to put it up on uh, uh, Facebook. I'll take a couple photographs. It's in pretty good shape. In. It's in very good shape. So it's not necessarily a TV series book, right. which, but but it's in the same yeah. same vein. So those two came from two different venues, but Go got very that. Well now, together. finally, uh -huh. you were saying in uh, your show, your online show, your Batman show, yes, that about Viewmasters. Oh yes, well, guess what I wow. found? Oh, Viewmaster. Guess what I found? <laughs> and I already loaded it. I got oh, that's that's '60s that's, viewfinder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And look what's in there. Oh, these are these are so just look what's in there. <laughs> right? Tell them what's in there. I wish you could see this. It's so awesome. It yeah. This is uh, the '1960s S Batman. '66 TV show. Batman. That's right. So I got the Viewmaster. I paid seventy-five cents for it. Oh, that is so cool. And it had, it had these with them, right here. Take a look at those. So I tell you that. So this is older than what I grew up on. But that, one thing that's very different is these eyepieces are not at all comfortable compared to mine. We're all rounded. Oh, and like, sure. Yeah, well, but, uh, well, yeah, but you get the same effect. Oh, you yeah. Know, use your measure. Oh, look at that. He's in the, so in the Batman, thing of death. Superman? There's Alfred. Oh, that's... There's Alfred. There's Catwoman. Oh, wow. These are very cool. Shazam. Yeah. Wonder Woman. Shazam. Peanuts. Oh, those are so cool. Isn't that something? So that, those were my... Uh, thrift shop Ooh, it finds. Those are my thrift shop finds right there. And uh, I'll post some of that on Facebook so, so you can take cool. a look at what's going on. And that's it.
Sanford and Son Tribute Show live Saturday, March 30th at 6.30 p.m. Spotlight Dinner Theater and Stardust Dinner Theater proudly present Sanford and Son Tribute Show live on stage. It doesn't have a ring to it. Join Fred, Lamont, Ann Esther, Grady, and all the other zany characters that made this classic show such a hit. Dinner and show, only $38. Cash bar. Reservations required by visiting eventbrite.com or by calling the box office, 330-327-2087. The Public Squares at Brothers Lounge, Wednesday, April 3rd at 8 p.m. The Public Squares is proud to present its all-new hilarious sketch comedy review. The show contains original sketches and takes an energetic look at the important issues of the 2019, such as dating, parenting, 12-step programs, broetry, and Pokemon Go. The Public Squares is making its triumphant return to the stage, having last been seen in the East Side Show of 2013. Uh, we all remember that classic. <laughs> in this ever-changing Cleveland comedy community, The Squares have set out to keep sketch comedy alive in the city they love. For more information, visit Public Square, thepublicsquares.com. The Medina Beer Fest. Is that going on during the public squares? Because that would really ease that one. Annual fundraiser for Main Street Medina, April 12th, 6 to 10.30 p.m. The event will be hosted by Williams on the Lake and will feature over 30 craft beers, food, entertainment, raffles, beer swag, in-focus photo booth, and loads of fun. Early entry VIP pass, which includes 15 beer tasting tickets, 15 beer tasting tickets, 15, and at 10.30 at night, 15 okay you'll be fine <laughs> commemorative tasting glass the opportunity to sample limited edition beers and interact one-on-one -on -one with the brewers regular guest admission includes 10 beer tasting tickets a food ticket commemorative tasting glass come and enjoy the fun that's 25 beers who wouldn't have fun <laughs> <laughs> That's my community calendar for the day. These peanuts are like 3D. Yeah. Roy was easing in his... Andrew. Roy was easing in his saddle, one knee raised and resting on the pommel, and his hand back to lean on Trigger's hindquarters. Oh. Off a ways, bullets sat on his haunches and let his tongue hang out. Oh, Roy. Oh, oh, hey, oh, we're back. Oh, we're back. Well, there you Just go. Just reading you a little bit of the I'll tell you Roy what. Rogers story. Yeah, I was there. looking at peanuts so in the uh, uh, Viewmaster. Great Not find. This, this this was, was a, a good one. This was a this was a really good find here. Yeah. For my you know uh, what? thrift shop. You're a good find. <sighs> back at you, buddy. Well, this show flew by. I feel like we by. just started. And Didn't we just start? It's like we only we have done half of it. And it feels like it's over already. Hopefully so. the audience doesn't... Uh, none the wiser. <laughs> none, the wiser. None, none the wiser. They wouldn't know what's involved if, uh, if it fell on them. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know why? Because the audience is stupid. <laughs> Our ratings. Okay. Our ratings just shut up. Because <laughs> we're honest, <laughs> our ratings just shut up. Okay, all right. We have some great. I don't know that. No, they're oh, fine. No, we love our audience. <laughs> they're fine. You guys, and you know what? We haven't been talking about in all seriousness. Yeah. We have not mentioned this uh, in our new format of the show. Is that there's plenty of ways to get a hold of us. We are on Facebook. We're on Twitter. We're on Instagram. Yep. Um, Is there, watch out! Email. Watch out for that little <laughs> yeah. gene. Dude. Instagram's a little. He's on there too. I don't think. Rogue, but I don't think he's. He, he's found out uh, how to get on Twitter. Shh. Oh, you don't okay, Captain Gene uh, is back up to the spaceship yeah. now, so he'll handle that. But in all seriousness, please <laughs> jump on some of those other uh, platforms. We love talking yep. to people on there and commenting. we got videos that are coming up on YouTube and Facebook. And, and I'm going to keep looking on uh, 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 Thrift Shop Finds. And then, of course, um, just a little tease here that we're going to be looking at... Uh, uh, fleshing out the show. Uh, on air is all I have to say. Yeah, on air. On air. That's it. On air. All right. That's all I'm saying so, right now. Fun stuff. Well, good show, Gary. Thank it's you, always Andrew. a pleasure doing this with you. Yep. And a lot we'll of fun. You. I appreciate it. See you again next week right here on Entertainment Picks. Yeah.